So get this, Kanye West has reached a settlement in their child custody case with uh, Kim Kardashian, right? So they're going to share joint custody, so meaning there's not one custodial parent. They're both custodial parents. They're sharing 50-50% custody of their four children, but Kanye has been ordered to pay $200,000 in child support per month. That's $50,000 per child. Is this common? I didn't think it was common that in joint custody, one parent had to pay child support. The whole point is that you're sharing equal custody. But after some research, I found out that 80% of cases in the United States with joint custody, 80% of the time, uh, the man ends up having to pay child support. The crazy thing is $200,000 per child. Kanye West also very recently has $75 million seized by the IRS from his bank accounts. We're going to get into that in just a second. But let's break down this whole child custody thing. All right. Kim Kardashian currently is estimated to be worth around $1.8 billion from her makeup empire, whatever you want to call it. She currently makes $60 million per year. That may be more than Kanye West is worth right now because uh, some reports are saying that he's no longer a billionaire because he lost all of these deals with these brands. I don't know. It's really speculation for now. Anyway, $50,000 per child. Like, this is not including private school and security. Let's break down that's, uh, that, that child support per month per child that is, ends up being $20,000 a month in clothes, supposedly. $20,000 a month in clothes? Once a baby. Once a baby. I guess they all wearing Prada, Versace, or Balenciaga. Maybe they all wearing Balenciaga, but you figure they would be getting like an employee discount. Ten thousand a month in food. It's not. It's not McDonald's, you know. But but you wouldn't spend ten thousand a month in food for for children. I guess they're all going to that sushi place over there in Santa Monica. What's it called? I don't know. Ten thousand a month in sports and activity. Ten thousand a month. What are you doing? You got a personal trainer? Are you, are you going to the UFC? For the baby, five thousand a month in phone and subscriptions. I guess they got satellite phones. So I don't know what's going on here. And five thousand a month in therapy. That's the only one I can get behind. The five thousand a month in therapy. You know they got very baby therapy. Just absurd numbers for us. I guess this kind of thing does not make sense. Like I said, I mean two hundred thousand a month. That's like two point four million dollars a year in child support for two people who are billionaires. And one is paying the other. It's just absurd to me how Kim Kardashian can walk around with her head held high like she's some kind of strong, independent woman, businesswoman. Oh, look at me. While you're taking a handout of 200000 a month. Why? Why even settle for that? Just say no. Just say, I would have said pay the tuition, pay the security, pay the health insurance. That's it. That would be a way to make a statement that you're a strong, independent woman. But whatever. On another note, recently, Kanye West talked about having multiple bank accounts seized by the IRS for a total of $75 million, and he only owed, apparently, $50 million to the IRS, so the IRS seized these bank accounts. What's crazy is the IRS, before they seize a bank account, it's, it's a very long process. Like, they're going to reach out to you first and be like, hey, listen, this is how much you owe, and they're going to reach out again, and then, you know, like, it's not like all of a sudden they're going to see, so Kanye has been ignoring these notices. I'm sure he has accountants too. So he's telling his accountants to ignore this stuff. Like, this is what is absurd to me. Like, what do you think is going to happen? I don't know. A lot of people are like, oh, well, rich people don't pay their taxes. Like, I'm telling you, you have an account. Once the IRS tells you this is what you owe, you're not going to avoid it. You either communicate with them, you settle, you make a payment plan. But if you ignore it, especially if you have a shit ton of money, they're going to seize your accounts. They're going to find a way to cash in on it. It just goes to show how much he's off his rocker. His priorities are completely just out the window. He's having brands are dropping him like like hot potatoes. He is having bank accounts seized. I wonder if all of this is really a product of the divorce. Wouldn't surprise me. You know, it wouldn't be the first time that a woman has broken a man down and left him a shell of his former self. And I think that whatever happened with him and Kim, especially Kim running off and with that guy from the SNL whatever his name is, and having this very public affair has broken him down. And then seeing that dude with his kids, Madonna, that would be absolutely a nightmare to imagine some dude waltzing around playing daddy with my children while everybody else in the media talks about how crazy I am. Can you imagine what that does to someone's brain, how that can affect 
your your mental health. I don't know. That's that's all I have for now. You guys tell me what you think is going on here. Is it fair that Kanye West pay two hundred thousand dollars a month in child support when they have joint custody? When in fact Kim may have more money than him at this point, but he you know maybe his pride is keeping him from showing that, or he will in the future and get it uh, readjusted. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. As always, buy red and sell green. I broke my neck.